My name is uh, Mary Catherine Waller and um, I'm a uh, gender research consultant and I have a PhD in anthropology and um, for the last um, 20 years I've been working on women's rights and gender equality issues and um, I've worked in Africa for about five years but the last three years I was in Ethiopia and it was there that I really got interested in uh, agriculture issues and uh, even climate change because there it's very evident. So um, when there was a need for a consultant, um, I got, I mean, I was asked if, if invited to, to, to come as a facilitator. And when it was about organizational gender strategies, that's something I do know a lot about because although I do a lot of research on programs, I also uh, have been sort of like a coach and a mentor for a lot of organizations, including a gender specialist uh, within Oxfam. Uh, as a full-time job for for um, several years, so uh, I was really interested because of those those experiences. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, one thing I I observed was that the same issues in um, that you find across all sectors in terms of developing organizational gender strategies and getting people excited about the strategies and taking a gender approach to their work and a personal commitment as well as as in the work that they do and in their official documents the same challenges are in gender and climate change and even if people I mean that's something I really observed even if people say well it's different because it's I don't know it, it's scientists that are uh, that don't usually think certain scientists are so focused on their specialty they're not necessarily thinking about gender but you would find the same sort of barriers in other sectors as well so I just found that interesting in terms of seeing that and sharing that that everyone was sharing that and um, I think another thing that I really uh, appreciated in the two days was um, how people uh, really were thinking about what it all means to them and and it was scary you could see for some people they were saying this is going to be difficult and um, at the same time realizing that um, getting excited about it at the same time even though there there's a lot of fear and questions so many questions because you're dealing with culture change you're not just dealing with you know the research that you're doing in the communities or for policy you're dealing with personal change and in, in order to be able to take on a gender perspective so I think people were doing that through the through through the exercises that we did mm. Um, I think the first one is, and it's linked to what I was saying before, is that there's no step-by-step um, -step process for developing a, a strategy because it is political and it's personal as well for engaging your se senior leadership and everyone in an organization, your partners. And so you really have to look at your organization to um, think about what's, what works best for you and uh, so I think people need to, because if not, they're going to be overwhelmed in a way and, and feel like it's an impossible task. So I do hope that people take home thinking, no, I'm going to do this. And even if I'm not a gender specialist, I believe that gender is important and I really want to um, apply some of the things that I learned in those two days to, to, to uh, engage my, my colleagues and organization in, in, in a change process to develop a strategy. Uh, so that would be the first one and then this, the second one would be um, uh, I think in this workshop a, a very strong message that was trying to be um, trying to get participants to think from a WID approach to a GAD approach, a women in development thinking of gender just about women's issues and thinking of it as as something very uh, transformative and where you have to ask new research questions and as an opportunity to ask those new research questions in gender and climate change. I hope people are excited about that and they're thinking in that way. And it felt that way. It felt like people were 
actually more excited about it because they didn't think it was just a women's issue, but they thought it was, um, yes, it's about women because they're more disadvantaged a lot of the time, but it, it's, it's a lot more than that. So I hope people come away with that.